Okay, welcome to another unboxing. Um, so this one is uh, a, a Zenta um, purchase from eBuy. £319. Um, doesn't come with an operating system. Uh, this is for a client who is currently running a Windows 7 laptop. Um, it's now experiencing some hard disk problems so he wanted to um, put the money that he would have spent resolving that problem to a new system but obviously wanted to keep costs down as much as possible so this is what we've uh, what we've sourced for him um, it's our first uh, Zenta PC um, so not sure on what the build quality is um, we've supplied zoo storms to people with uh, very low budgets previously um, in our experience what we've had to do on some of those uh, zoo storm machines is to take out the power supply and replace it with uh, a decent power supply due to um, some slight noise that you get and if it's sat on a desktop with someone then it can be quite annoying so um, this is our first experience with one of these and um, what we're going to do today is to get it unboxed have a look at the quality and then uh, we'll go ahead and build up the PC with uh, Windows 10 Home is what we've got earmarked for this one. So let's get into it. Oh, right, okay, so you can see here um, st straight away it's quite a flimsy case. That's not necessarily uh, a showstopper, but um, gives you an idea of uh, why it's so cheap. Let's get that out, get the box removed. Inside the box we've got another box, so we'll, we'll have a look at that in a sec. Okay. So, not too much to the, the packaging as you can see here. Uh, we've seen better packaging. You can hear it's quite flimsy, so it's quite empty. Uh, but then we wouldn't expect a huge amount of uh, parts inside. Okay, so not bad. Let's go ahead and take off the side. What I do like about this is the uh, the top functionality. So you've got USB two, USB three. Um, microphone, headphones and the power button on the top which is quite good. Saves you faffing around trying to find it at the front of the machine. Okay, right, let's have a look inside. Okay, so as you can see here, if I bring this one over and we've got pretty much nothing in it. Um, one of the Decent things is it's got a it's got a one gig graphics card. Um, it's an i3, uh, but as you can see, there's there's next to nothing in it. The reason we went for this one, it comes with a 480 gig um, gigabyte SSD drive. Uh, we've seen these power supplies previously on the ZooStorm PC, so we might need to change that if it's making a, a noise at all. Um, but apart from that, uh, yeah, as we expect for a uh, cheap, no frills PC. So let's get the colour back on. So also inside the box we've got uh, Bull Guard antivirus, we never use that. We install malware bytes. Um, we're malware bytes resellers. Um, we think it's uh, the best antivirus on the market. Okay, so we've got uh, drivers and drivers for the graphics card as well. Put that to one side, and then we'll get this set up. Okay, so we're ready to start up. Let's uh, let's give this a, a whirl. See what happens. PC in itself is fairly quiet. Can't see any output at the moment. Try F2 and delete to get in the BIOS. There we go. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see this. Uh, right, so we want to do. Let 
make sure that the hard disk is present. Okay, so storage. I say hard disk here, the gigabyte SATA one. I don't think we need anything else. So I think what we'll do is we're just going to go ahead with the uh, default. What we want to do is make sure that we can boot up. Okay, CPU fan on. Okay, we don't want to overclock it at the moment. Okay, UEFI, perfect. Okay, so we're ready to get the install done. So what we're going to do is that is going to go into the USB 3 drive and then we're going to start the install. So we'll exit out of here. Confirm we've not made any changes. Okay, so we didn't actually have to press a key at all there um, because there's no disk, no setup um, on the disk. It's just picked up uh, the USB stick first of all. So we can go ahead and get that installed. Uh, so we don't have a product key, so we'll add this later. So um, because this is not a branded Dell or Lenovo or Fujitsu or HP machine, um, we'll find that uh, we have to add that key later, but that's fine, we can do that. So we'll say I don't have a product key. This will give us 30 days. Um, so we're going to buy a Windows 10 home key. Um, he doesn't need Windows 10 Pro so because he's not going to be joining a domain or needing any extra functionality. So to keep costs down further, uh, we'll be selecting Windows 10 Home. Tick the accept the license terms. Um, it's a fresh install on the unallocated space, so 447 gig usable, um, so it's a 480 gig drive. That will then automatically do the partitions, uh, copy all the data over, install all the features, add the updates and then uh, we'll be able to get going. Okay, so that's that bit. <clears throat> so we'll remove the USB key. We're finished with that now. Let that restart. And that will complete the rest of the setup. So we're in the United Kingdom. <clears throat> Skip that. Seems to be a slight issue with the graphics card. We'll sort that out later. And we'll say we don't have internet. Say no to that. Decline Cortana. We don't want to use speech recognition. We do want to use uh, location services. We don't want to find our device. We want to send basic stats. We don't want to improve the language. We do want to have tailored experiences. We do want to use the app ID. <clears throat> so 
So these glitches with the graphics card will load the uh, correct drivers shortly and that should sort, so that, sort that out. Assets are up to full strength now. Leave it on our public network. So now we've joined, we're going to run through the rest of the setup. So we're going to say cancel to that. Next thing we want to do is get the icons on the desktop. Go to themes, desktop icons, tick those three, get them on the desktop. Now what we want to do is we're going to need to add the license key. So we're going to change the product key and we're going to add the product key that we just used to purchase. Perfect. So that's done. Now we've got the key on, we can run Windows Update. So that is uh, pretty much all there is to it. Um, what we'll do is, as you can see down here, the NVIDIA display driver will load, so that will fix the, um, the spotty um, discolouring that we saw earlier on. Um, and what we'll also do is, I'll be loading malware bytes, antivirus package, and Microsoft Office 365. and then we can deliver that back. So if you found the video useful, it'd be great if you could like it and also subscribe to our channel. Um, as and when we get new PCs that we've not, um, we've not messed around with before, we will add those to the channel. Um, hopefully it will help you guys um, move forward in terms of building your own computers. Um, if you've got any questions, just leave us a comment below and we're quite responsive to getting those answered. Thanks for watching.